And in Mtata in the Eastern Cape, the Pan-African Congress has promised to render services to ordinary people and restore their dignity. The party took its election campaign to the city's taxi ranks yesterday. Atule Joka reports. A party on a quest to reclaim its position in the political arena. And it wants to hear about problems and grievances firsthand. In fact, we are very glad because for the first time, the people have been raising realities. In fact, what we have been telling them, that it is, no, it is of no use not to stay home and not going and vote. So they are saying they are going to vote for the PAC. They are saying they have been uh, disregarded by the current government. They are saying in particular the, the, the taxi owners. We wish the PAC to follow their policies because political parties theorize and do not implement their policies because government doesn't recognize us in the taxi business and all they want from us is money. Riddled by infighting, the PAC says it's now flying the unity flag. We no longer have factions. We are ready. We must take the policies of the PAC to the people. Remember the land question. Anyone who wants to be relevant in the politics of this country must speak PAC politics. Anyone who wants to be heard in this country must talk about land. And the land question is better placed within the politics of the PAC. And the land question can only be articulated correctly in a right context by the PAC. The party will launch its manifesto on the 6th of April in East London. Atule Joga, SABC News, Mutata.